Hi, this is Ben Ginsberg of Driftwood Photography Studios and Benjamin Ginsberg Photography. You can find me on Instagram if you're not already following along at, at Driftwood Photo, that's F O T O, and also Benjamin.Ginsberg. I am about to head off from where I'm based here in Orange County, California, to where I'm from in Vermont, so I've grown a little bit of a mountain man beard, help protect against some of the cold that's going on over there, frigid northeast at the moment. But I thought this would be a really good opportunity to show some of the gear I take when I regularly travel and also do a packing video. I've now got, or I've been using, really great packs from Mindshift Gear. And full disclosure, you know, I'm not paid by them, I'm not an ambassador for them, but they really do give me some packs to test every now and then, and I'm very grateful for that. I have here a brand new Mindshift backlight. 26 liter pack. I really like this one and I'm glad that I've been given the opportunity to try it out. Okay, so before we get fully into the packing video, I wanted to show you a little bit about the bag itself. Um, this is actually a replacement for me because, you know, just traveling, airports, you know, back of pickup trucks, whatever it might be, sometimes things aren't treated as, you know, nicely as they should and, and things get a little bit damaged. So, you know, it's Got a great, uh, you know, quick access on the front here. Um, some little clips on the side to help secure in for these side pockets, which are, you know, I use a ton of all the time. Um, got a slot for a laptop. Got a slot for an iPad, but it can expand out on the sides here when you zip it down. You know, this can actually fit quite a bit. What I really like about the outside here is this just simple top zipper. You know, I usually will cram a bunch of batteries or things, just quick access I need, right up in here, and it just, it works perfectly for me. Um, then, of course, it's got, you know, strap up top for the tripod, and the bottom comes out here to latch the foot in. Uh, really, really comfortable shoulder straps. Um, you know, really nice and padded. The back zip for security and this is also nicely padded. The waist belt is actually like a real kind of trekking and functional day pack, so it will actually help alleviate the weight on your hips and off your shoulders, so you can actually do a nice long hike with this. Really functional inside. Hit the tripod there. You know, lots of space, uh, lots of dividers, customizable for sure. Uh, you know, overall, like I said, really quality, really sturdy. Um, you know, this has been really great for me as I've been using them. And all right, so let's uh, let me get the gear all laid out, and then we can start packing stuff away. Well, here it is. This is effectively my go-to travel kit these days. Uh, quite a bit of gear it can get a little heavy. I'm not gonna lie there, but uh, that's why you need a good rugged pack. So, normally in the past, I would carry. Two full-size bodies with me. Um, not doing that quite as much anymore now that I got the Mavic. Uh, you know, having a drone is an amazing thing, and the Mavic is just you know so small and it folds up. Really, you can see right there the size of my 70 to 200 lens, and that's just so amazing. And it takes really good quality. Um, got some extra blades. You know, the propellers there. I've got the controller. I keep this little foam thing that came with it in here in the bag because I don't like the sticks getting completely mashed and mangled. Uh, there are products on the market that can help you know screw them in place but you know, that works fine for me now. I've got a you know additional mount here so I'm not actually using my phone for the Mavic controller. I'm using that iPad mini in the middle there and it just gives me bigger screen. I can touch to focus things better. I just have a better idea what's going on when I'm around. And the neat thing is too it doesn't get interrupted anymore by text message or phone calls or any of that information. So Nikon body, it, that right there is my D610 with the portrait grip and it's actually got a peak design plate on the bottom. I will be taking with me my D750 with its portrait grip and that's exactly the same size. I'm actually filming with that right now which is why I've got the 610 in there for a placeholder. Uh, next to that is just uh, a quick little card case. Um, I already mentioned the 
70 to 200. It's one of my favorite go-to lenses. I use that for pretty much everything. Uh, down here at the bottom is a little Nikon N1 V3. It's their mirrorless product right now. I've got two extra batteries in it. I've got a little remote for it. And this is actually an old case for a flash that you know came with it. It just fits nice and it keeps a nice and compact a whole cell So that that's my backup these days. And you know, sometimes I will still take you know the two full size bodies, but this really gets pretty good for me. I've got you know a 50 millimeter 1.4, I've got a teleconverter uh, 1.7 times. Above that I have two batteries. There are two more batteries right now in the D610, and there's one in the 750 I'm filming with, so I take five batteries with me, in addition to the two batteries for the Nikon N1 V3 mirrorless, plus three batteries total for the Maverick. So, you know, you, a lot. And I also will all take, I have the conversion packs, and I don't have them out now, and I probably won't take them. But if I'm going to be on the road for a long time, I'll take the inserts that allow me to use double A's too, so that way I can either bring a couple, or you can pretty much find double A's anywhere in the world if you really need to. Just buy if you pop them in there if you don't have an ability to travel when you're on the road. I've got some filters here. Uh, graduated, which I love to use. Um, I've also got just a good square neutral density. I've got a polarizer for my 50. I've got a polarizer for my uh, 70 to 200. I've got, <laughs> I have a lot, I've, where you can see I've got the just, I don't know if my head got in there or not, but, you know, just the sunshade right here. That's because I'm filming with my 17 to 55 2.8. It's a pretty sizable lens. That will go in the pack too. Um, two pocket wizards, so that way I can set up if I need to, you know, if I bring a light with me, which I'm just, I happen to not be this trip. Or I can do for remote triggering, which I'd love to do. Uh, they're really great for that. I also have, you know, typical cords and cable. I've got my headphones. I've got the little connection piece so I can do charging and sound through my, <laughs> through my iPhone 7. I've got uh, a couple battery chargers. I have a GoPro. I have extra batteries for that and a charger. I have, let's keep going left here. I've got some lens wipes, and above the GoPro I have some actual cloths, and I have a couple little bags that are, you know, the nice, really good microfiber cloths, but they're bags too, so you can put stuff in it. Uh, I've got the card reader. I have three different, and they're diff all different brands, but three different battery packs. I've got one block there at the top corner left for my iPhone. I'll probably grab a second when I go so I can charge the phone and the iPad mini at the same time if I want to. Uh, some business cards. Uh, I bring a carabiner with me. I've got a bunch of them left over. You know, they haven't been taken care of, so they, you know, the actions barely work. But instead of throwing them out, you know, I can attach, you know, hat, water bottle, shoes, whatever, to the back of the backpack, and it's fine. You know, work works great, no problem. I've got some little Joby uh, Gorilla Pods. Those things are amazing. Uh, below the Jobies, I've got the charging multi-port and adapter for the Mavic. I've got two headlight or headlamps. You know, I always find it's better to have multiple. Sometimes one just, you know, runs out. Other times just, you know, whoever you're with might need one. It's good to have multiple. I've got my frame for the square and, you know, rectangular filters. I'll also bring with me, it's not in here, I'm going to bring my MacBook, obviously the, the charging cable for that or the power cord for that, and I'm going to bring an external hard drive. And all that, amazingly, can and will and does fit into that 26 liter pack. To make it a little easier to pack, I've cleared everything out of the way you know again so here's the backlight I've put carabiner on the back there I've also put on my peak design clip for you know quick access um, I've also taken the time already to rearrange the tabs inside here you know everybody has different gear different configurations will be needed you know thankfully I have packed this bag before well this is a replacement one, but I've packed a backlight before, and I have an idea of how I need and want it to be. So, you know, if you're a first time getting it, just take a little time, figure it out. You'll be able to fit generally everything you need. I first got my card case. Got a little slot up there I do for it. I just shifted over this divider to the side a bit more, which allows me to have room when I put my camera body in here with the brace for the Peak Design 
Capture Pro, it gives it a little extra room to fit right in there, nice and tight. Uh, this is where I would keep my bigger lens, my Nikon 17 to 35 2.8. Uh, you know, it doesn't fit fully with the in here downwards, so I usually I'll keep this in the top, and it just it'll sit a little bit above, but it'll allow me to get everything else in here, and I'm I'm cool with that. So next up, I'm gonna put in the Mavic. I've got a slot here on the side, all set up for it. It fits in real nice and snug. If I were to be taking a second full-size body, I'd either have it here or I might shift these down, you know, have a little bit of storage for stuff here. Full-size body lens here or something similar. I took for this divider that used to be right here. And I just put it face down so I can put it right on top of the propellers, protect them, give them a little padding. So when I put in my mounting plate and the batteries, you know, everything is a little safer and more snug. Then I've got the remote and that foam top from the packaging came and I said I kept. And I dropped that right in here like that. Next I will bring in that old flash case where I have my mirrorless Nikon and the batteries. And it's really it's a self kit. It's actually it's got an adapter on it so I can use all my normal Nikon lenses. I don't have to use the Nikon one specific one, so I can use my 7200. I can even use my 300 millimeter or even a 600 if I wanted to on here, it, which it, it's really cool. It makes it very versatile. It fits really nicely right in there. And then the 70 to 200 drops perfectly right in here. You'll notice there's a little gap actually up top here by the main camera body. I just I turned around the divider and put it so that way the Velcro is down. It hangs just down a little bit. So if I wanted to put my 50 millimeter 1.4 on there, it can actually fit attached to the body right in there, no other adjustment. And then if I don't have anything on that clip on the outside and the shoulder strap, it's just right in there, boom, just pull it right out of the top. It works really well. Moving along, down on the bottom right here, I've got my filters for now. Just, I have a spot I like to do, stick them in the side. Take my 10 stop neutral density, stick them in there as well. Polarizer for the 50 mil. Put it right in there as well. My GoPro fits perfectly right in here. And I'll even use that spot then on top of it for a couple of my lens cloths. Uh, just a quick easy spot. I've put my teleconverter in this little microfiber bag. It just, uh, you know, because I'm going to stack actually something on top of it, helps protect a little bit. So that will go flush down in there, and then it's got a little padding between my 51.8, which just right on top, nice and easy and perfect. Moving on to the upper right little section here, it curves with the bag a bit, and as you can see, it's obviously the narrowest, this whole side is narrow, but it's the perfect width for my Pocket Wizard plus threes. So I stick two of them in here, and I've actually been able to fit in past you know, one of my larger uh, Plus X and these little ones. For now, though, and the extra space I have on top, up there, I have a little bag I've put just some cords and cables. You know, I've got a standard shutter release cable in here. I've got the shutter release cable, which allowed me to use my Pocket Wizards for that effect. I've got, you know, just some, you know, just, really, you know, standard cords and cables. And that kind of, it's not all the ones I carry, but it's enough and they fit really snuggling perfectly right in there. And that's obviously aside from the lens which is on the camera I'm recording with right now, that's most of what goes in the interior. In the inside flap here, I tend not to put a lot because you can see I've got the batteries, I've got the remote, the lens will stick up a little bit, I've got the Nikon 1 V3 here, so I don't want to crush too much. So I really, I put things like business cards up in the top and so on and so forth. I just little things. I'll put some lens wipes and just keep it flat. That's just my preference. So now I will zip things up and we can move on to the rest of the pack where there is still plenty of room. So like I was saying up top here, a lot of great space. I put also some extra lens cleaning cloths, uh, just some already wet ones. They can fit up here nicely. You know, quick access on the road, so I'm not going to open the pack if I don't need to. Put a couple spare batteries 
right up in here. And I put things like a, actually I didn't mention this. This is a little adapter for my iPhone. And I've got a little bracket on the bottom here. This can now fit in my hot shoe. So I've actually done projects where I've been shooting or I've been filming, either way. And then I've got this up on top in the hot shoe with my camera, or with my iPhone, I should say. And I'm doing a Facebook Live post, and I've done that for myself. But I've also done it for a couple magazines and a couple different companies as well. And, you know, it's just so little and small, and it is a cool little thing to have that just only adds benefit. So, moving on, we're going to fill up the outside pockets. Let's start here with the biggest one. Just unzip that. Extend the flaps out here. Try to do it without hitting the tripod. I'm going to put in MacBook Air, which is really convenient. It's obviously not the most powerful product they make, but on the road, it's really light. This can fit and accommodate my 15-inch MacBook Pro, but that just doubles the whole weight of the bag, and sometimes it's just not worth it. I'll put in my iPad Mini, which I use to control the Mavic, I said again, plus it's just useful for things like model releases and everything else if you need it. Uh, put in my Joby pods down here as well, and this little one for the phone if I need to. Power cables for the MacBook, for the Mavic, uh, multi charger for the Mavic. Put in the headlamps, and I will actually, I think I'll cap it here for this one, and then. Close up the sides. Pretty simple. Now what I'm going to do for the outside here, I'm actually going to loosen this up a little bit. And I'm going to put in spare battery pack. And I'm going to put in, this is the actual mount. So from that plate, this screws in. And then here I attach my iPad. And then this is what I control the Mavic from. And it makes it just much, much, much bigger screen. So that can nice and easily fit in there too. Give a cinch, give another cinch tight there, and that part's ready to go. Now to finish this up, for the outermost pocket here, I'm actually gonna put in the spare propellers for the Mavic Pro. It's actually the Mavic Pro Platinum, so I have the gold tip ones, which are really nice. And I'm gonna put in my filter mount. So that'll fit also right here next to it. Um, what I have forgotten though, and I will grab the zippers on the side here, I have forgotten my battery chargers. So those right in here, and there's actually, you can see there's still a lot of room up here. Uh, so there, there's plenty of room for my hard drive, which is attached to my iMac doing a backup before I leave. Always important, backup your, your hard drives. Um, and if you have, uh, there's a little Pelican case or other companies make too, a little tiny one that's just the perfect size to fit a hard drive. And there's still plenty of room for that in here, you know, because obviously your hard drive is one of your most important items because once you put your photos on there, you don't want that damaged. And the very, very last things, will be I still have these two additional battery packs. I'll just stick these on the side here for now, too. Uh, I might find a better spot for them later, but for now, that's good enough. Uh, and that's everything. Now, keep in mind, this bag is heavy. It is very heavy. So, thank you very much. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please look me up on Instagram, at Driftwood Photo. Again, F-O-T-O. Uh, you can also visit my website, driftwoodphoto.com and benjaminginsworthphotography.com.